Hey, if there's a way that I can personally help, and I'm forming a relationship with you, well then that relationship that's established opens the door for me to be a part of your mastermind team. Because there's a lot of people that know a lot more than each of us. But imagine the collective wisdom that we can bring together in order to help us get to our results, right? Okay, so the mastermind team is that final piece. So we talked about knowledge equals uh, the cash formula for success. We talked about knowledge, we talked about attitude, then we talked about skills. We didn't talk about attitude? My apologies, I don't want to sell you. Attitude, talk to me. Don't you know a lot of people with jacked up attitudes? Mm -hmm. How do you know? Yep. How they look? Okay. Body language, right? Okay, what else? Word of mouth. You hear people talking about other people. Word of mouth. But attitude, how do you know when somebody has a jacked up attitude? What makes you feel like someone has a jacked up attitude? The vibe. Body language. Body language, the way they talk, the vibe, just a feeling, right? Sometimes you walk into a room or someone walks into a room and for whatever reason, you don't even know, but you you can just quickly say, I don't like that person. Why? And somebody get in a conversation and say, why? And you see girls say, why don't you like? I don't, I don't even know. know that person. Round up the face. I don't even know the person. <laughs> just a vibe, right? Okay. So, you know, you, you gotta understand that you give off a vibe. But you know, what if we're thinking about that growth formula, and you think about the O, and you're thinking about outlook. If that individual's outlook, can't you kind of control at least what you try to give off? I mean, can't you, can't you try to, at least? Mm -hmm. Have you heard someone say about, you should smile when you answer the phone? Have you ever heard that before? Okay, okay, no problem, good. I'm gonna tell you, I've heard that before, and I'll tell you that you can tell when someone's happy to hear from you. <laughs> right? You call home sometimes, you, oh, hello. Why are you calling now? What you want? Or, oh, baby, how you doing? And it's just a little change in the face, a little loss of memory. You know, so your attitude, that really makes a big impact on how far along you're going to get along this thing called life. It gets you closer to the area of success. Number, the S, skills. Skills. What do they mean when somebody says, yo, he has skills? Good, Good right? Mm -hmm. Can't you develop skills? Yeah. Okay. And don't you want to have someone basically in the employment side if your interest is going to get a job or if you want to go get funding from venture capitalists or go into a bank and get funding to start a business or if you're in promotions and you want to throw a party and you want to get money from somebody, don't you inevitably want them to say, yo, he has skills, yeah. right? So the key then is for us to position ourselves with the skills so we can get that type of response. How can you do it? How can you do it based upon the five keys of success? Okay, so you can bring in the skills. Okay, what else? Go ahead, what'd you say? Somebody said what? Discipline. So you can put it into work, right? Being decisive and having a burning desire. So you can put the work in to get the skills. So oftentimes when we see things in a competitive nature, like say employment or athletics, we think we want to hate on people that get success. Don't we? You know, just hate. All the hate aid you drink. <laughs> Thinking that it's a shortness, whether the shortness because you didn't put the leg work in. No need to hate. All you gotta do is go forth and put forth the leg work. All right. So that speaks to the H habits. <laughs> if you've not heard of this book, I want to make wanted you to write it down. Um, I started reading this book in '96, and I've tried to read it at least peruse it every year. It's the seven habits of highly effective people. Seven habits of highly effective people. This is by Stephen Covey.